This is the HTC Evo 4G from Sprint with um, the new HTC Sense interface. You can see it's got the uh, nice flip clock, the nice weather animations there. Um, one big thing they introduced with this version of Sense is the themes. So if you go to menu, um, personalize here, they have this new personalized menu which has um, your scenes, which are I guess, similar to the, old, to the old software. There's the wallpaper, which you can switch there. And then they have skins. Right now I'm using the Slate skin. Um, here's the one you're actually probably familiar, or I guess it's over here. The one you're familiar with, the HTC skin. Um, here's a metal skin, just a little different effects on it. And you can select and apply any of these um, at any time. And it changes quite a bit of the interface, actually. Um, changes this up here to kind of a, a silver, changes down here, silver as well, even the lock screen, um, if I lock it, it changes that too, it's similar to the original but it's more silver, so kind of cool. Um, it also changes through the widgets and even the apps, like here's the calendar app. Um, Really similar to the old style, but it's a little more silver to match the theme. Kind of cool. Um, down here, instead of the plus button that it used to be, it's now a little personalized thing, too. So you can tap that, brings up the same menu. And you can switch your skin. I like the slate one, so I'm going to go back to that. And apply. <clears throat> so, pretty cool. Just right off the bat, they have some a lot nicer customization options. Um, so if you want it to look a little more unique, I guess, or at least different from how it comes, you have some more options. Um, otherwise, um, a lot of the stuff's same. The widgets, like I said, also match your theme. So this is more square. So the widget is more square. Um, pretty cool. Email widget. This looks pretty laggy on the camera, but it's actually really fast. Um, just as fast or faster as the um, Froy update from earlier. This a uh, year. Let's see. So, yep, yeah, tons of apps installed here. Let's pull something up. Got the FM radio and everything. Flashlight's the same. Um, I guess a big thing are some of the new installed apps. So, like, here's blocked callers. Um, you can just add callers here, and if they try to call, it'll go straight to voicemail as if your phone's not even on. Kind of nice. If you have a number that calls you a lot that you don't like. Calendar apps the same. Car panel um, similar, but a little updated from. I have GPS disabled. That doesn't really matter. So really similar. Down here, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it uh, says exit, mark this location, or navigation. And that's grayed out because I don't have GPS turned on right now. Um, pretty much the same. Your dialer is all going to be the same. Um, pull that guy up. Same as you're used to. Um, one really cool new thing here, I've got to tap exit. One really cool new thing is the hibernation mode. And this was seen on the uh, Desire HD. If you turn it off, pull up the power menu, there's a new mode here that says hibernate. So if you tap that, it goes into, and I, ble I believe it cuts all power. Either that or it's just very, very, very low power state. So that screen's completely turned off. It's all black. Um, if I turn it back on, it vibrates to tell me it's coming on. Light shows up. Bam, it's on. Um, that's that, like, 10-second uh, boot time, I guess, that the Desire HD was praised for. So it, it is a software thing. It's a, uh, I guess it's a, hibernation mode, not necessarily powered all the way off, but it's pretty cool. It does, right now, have some issues coming back awake, I think. Sometimes it'll come right back up, but oh, there we go. So, love that flip clock. Um, the music application is pretty much the same. Little visual update to it. Um, they added this featured section here. I think it pulls that from Amazon MP3. Um, has some featured albums. It's all really slick. You can tap it there and go straight to Amazon MP3. So that's nice that they integrated that. 
Let's see, anything else? Oh, the new drawer here. So they have your normal notifications here, like this is some, you know, I just installed some apps. But this shows your recently used applications, and I think it shows up to eight, or maybe 12. Um, that's cool, because it's the same thing as holding down the home button, but it's just in a new place. I think it's a little more obvious to users to look up here. Oops, tap the music application. A little more obvious um, that, you know, when they pull down to see their notifications, they can see what's been running. So, kind of cool. What else? Browser. Did a little visual refresh refresh in the browser. It now matches your theme. Um, pretty cool. Um, oh, one big thing with texting, if I wanted to text here, um, and any text entry actually, is the copy and paste has been redone. It's really nice. For example, if I'm going to say, hello, and then I want to copy and paste that, hold down, very iPhone-esque. Um, very, very similar to that. So hopefully you don't get in trouble for that. I think it's really cool. Let go. It'll show your, uh, you can select, paste, whatever. Um, I think if you choose copy, let's see, or select text. Select text comes up very, very iPhone-esque. I've seen this in a couple places before with uh, Sense, but it's basically everywhere now, including the browser, every text entry. Um, copy, cut, paste. Very nice. Um, change that from old sense. So there's just a lot of little visual refreshes. One, one big thing I've also noticed is that um, text on the screen seems smaller in a lot of cases, like in the uh, settings. Um, let's go wireless networks here. Um, it seems like they fit a lot more stuff on here, and it's still very, very readable. Um, but text just seems smaller, and, and like pop-ups and stuff, which is actually really nice. You can see a lot more. It looks a lot more polished, I think. So that is a preview of the new HTC Sense on the Evo 4G.